for the neutral it is important to also note that we need to allow more room because at the neutral this is a return path for electricity Now, why is it important to allow more room for the neutral? Because in case of any loose connection or any problem, the neutral will, in most cases, start burning. Meaning it will burn the insulation. At the point of repair, the neutral might be cut or reduced. So that is why as much as the bars are closer to these wires, I will still not cut the neutral wires at the point where they are connected to the neutral bar, but I will also create some more room and have the neutral wires go all the way before they can go to the connection at the neutral bars. So I will not do like most people do by cutting them and connecting them directly, but I will have to create more room I can have them go all the way and then go right back to the neutral connection, as you can see. Or I can use this side, but since this area is really crowded, I'll make use of this side here. So first, what I will do is to connect them individually before I can create room for that. All right. Now, if you are getting some neutral value, ensure that you don't pass without hitting that like button. And if you are new to this channel, you're welcome. Ensure that you hit the subscribe button. Don't look for any other channel when it comes to electricity or electrical supply. I will simply be giving simple solutions, especially if you are a do-it-yourself or a do DIY enthusiast. So we screw, we unscrew the neutral bar there, like that. Now, having connected the neutral and the earth connection, we now have to connect this to the MCBs. But before that, we create a way whereby these neutral connections will have enough space here for future repairs. So for that one, we'll simply have the face connections well out and then I will utilize all of this space that is here and simply have them go all the way in that corner there and use this space that is here I will use my pliers to ensure that these wires are neatly done, like so. And also here. Remember, it is not a problem to have these wires folded like that. The most important thing is to have them with enough or sufficient room. That is, according to John, then I will 
fold them like that. My main goal here is to create enough room for these wires. So I will fold them like that. That is enough room there. And then for this lighting, which is a 1.5 wire, also create some more room for it over there. And also for this one, and create some more room for it and have them go all the way in. And all over here, create some more room. So that is how it will look like so. I can also have what we refer to as cable ties and tie these wires together. So these are my cable ties. So that will ensure that the wires at least look good. So that is it for today's video, top bosses. In the next one, I'll be talking about the MCBs, the miniature circuit breakers, the sizing, and why you should have them for specific circuits. Watch out for my next video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Bye-bye.